videotape revolution brought a new appreciation for horror films. It was like this dam broke. And it changed everything. There's a link between heavy metal and horror. I was the DJ. It's the sweeping sensation. You're right here, right now. It's unimaginable that people still care about this movie. A weaponized guitar. There's a lot of love and craft that I really appreciate. I thought I could create magic. It was diabolical. <laughs> It's so grimy and slimy. It's unbearable to watch. <laughs> I might have been a bit too much for mainstream audience. <laughs> I rode that appeal. <laughs> so come on with him. He makes this kind of move. <laughs> 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 we were just kids having fun. We're making movies. We're doing what we love. And that's why we love these movies so much to this day. I could watch 80s horror movies on a loop forever. <laughs> Probably made me into the weirdo that I am today. I don't know. Hello, fellow followers, and welcome back to Fan Scene. Greg here, and today for you, another little video on Scream. Essentially, something I want to share with you guys. Um, I know I've talked a lot about Scream here on my channel lately, and uh, I just really wanted to talk to this, you know, with the release of the Scream 2 on 4K, which, uh, by the way, is a really great 4K. I do think there is a little bit of a DNR issue with it. Maybe they scrubbed a little bit of it. It does get a little dnr -y in parts, in my opinion. But if you're not seeing Scream 2, check it out. It's on 4K now, along with Scream 1, and it looks like we'll be getting Scream 3 on 4K. 4K in March of uh, 2023, which I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, and, you know, if you like what you see here and if you clicked on this video, I really thank you. And I, I, please consider subscribing, joining and hitting that bell for notifications, sharing this video out. And after you watch this video, if you do like it, please consider hitting the like button and check my links in the description down below. Uh, if you like In Search of Darkness, 80s Horror, the, part, uh, the final documentary part three is coming out. It's going on sale till midnight Halloween of 2022. I have a link down there. Click that link. It does help my channel if you click on it and if you do purchase that. But anyways, moving on to what I uh, what I want to do in this video for you guys is I want to share with you guys something that means a lot to me because I'm a huge Scream fan. And um, this is my Scream mask I've had since 1997 when I was about uh, 13, 14 years old. Uh, this was one of the original Scream mask uh, that they started selling after the movie was a hit. I mean, of course, if a lot of you remember, these masks were actually sold uh, well before Scream. Uh, they were maybe a slight difference to it, but not too much of a difference. A lot of people had them. I, I think they were called the Grim Reaper or uh, Ghost Reaper or something. I can't remember. If you guys remember what the original mask was called, let me know that in the comment section down below. But this is original Scream mask. I bought this after the part one was a huge hit, right before part two was coming out. Um, you know, later on, well, before part two, because it's from since 1997, but this is one of the original. I think this was actually molded from one of the original Scream masks when they first started selling it. I'm not really sure, but I did pay a pretty good penny for this back in the day. Of course, now you can find masks like this everywhere, but this is an original. I mean, if you can see this is original, it's, it's yellow, it's faded. I've had it for so, so many years. Uh, you know, here it is, and it's even got the, you know, <laughs> those things uh it's a little ripped off the, the from the side there but i really really loved having this mask and i dug it out for the scream stream and if you have not seen my scream stream i did on here where we talk all five scream movies and a little bit about what we think part six will be uh you know some of it's not all great what we talk, talked about but it's over three hours long it's on my channel check out the scream stream it's awesome it, we had a really good fun conversation that night um but yeah, I, I, you know, I see so many people do mask videos on here and unboxing masks. And I wanted to share with you guys my original 1997 Scream mask that I bought. Uh, you know, it is Halloween spooky season. Look at this thing. I absolutely love this. It just, it, it feels like the mask from the movies. It feels like one of the masks that could have been worn in this to me. I mean, it, it's not, it's not, it's not been worn in any, it's not screen used, not with that. It's just like what they sell. Uh, but back in the day when they first started selling this, it was really, really expensive. And, uh, I had to get it, uh, for the first time. Look at that profile. 
style in a profile of Ghostface. Uh, I think it's even gotten creepier through the years with the yellowing and it's fading and uh, having it in storage. I, I just I just wanted to really show this off with you guys and share it with you guys and uh, let you know, you know, you know, Scream meant a lot to me. I found that movie uh, when it came out on VHS uh, at a point in my uh, life when uh, things seemed like they were falling apart a little bit when I was a kid and we was going, my family was going through a hard time and uh, I don't know what it was about that movie but I lost myself in it daily. I even had it um, I couldn't afford the VHS at the time so I had a friend you know, take his copy of Scream and a double VCR and record it for me and I wish I could find it. I, I think I might still have it. I'm not really sure but if I could have found it I would have put it on here this video for you guys and I watched that thing. I watched that thing over and over until I actually got the VHS and uh but i don't know what it was about that movie much like superman the movie which meant a lot to me uh a scream meant a lot to me and uh you know it was one of the few 90s horror movies that i really really latched on to and uh i loved it and i i, I love this mask and i don't plan on ever getting rid of, the, rid of this mask it's just something that means the world to me and uh yeah and it's what sucks because i'm gonna be honest with you i hate a scream five i will not rewatch that movie and i'm not a fan of looking forward to what part six got and that that, that pains me because um you know i watch i loved part one two and three i think that's a great trilogy i know some people don't like part three at all but i like it and i actually didn't like part four but uh i when i rewatched it i was like you know what this movie is a lot better than I, I thought, especially after seeing Scream 5. And I was glad to be able to, uh, you know, say, you know what? I liked it. Wes Craven did a good job on that. And uh, uh, I think it, I'm going to stop there on my Scream when I watch it. Because uh, I think that's where it ends for me. Scream 4. But regardless, my Scream mask, original 1997 Scream mask I've had since I was 13 years old. It's awesome. Uh, let me know what you guys think about all this in the comment section down below. Do you have anything that, you know, from any movies that you like that you bought, any horror movies, uh, superhero movies, uh, comedy movies or anything that just inspired you to buy something from it that just, I don't know what it is, something, some kind of connection you have. Let me know all that in the comment section down below. And if you liked what you saw here, like I said, please consider liking, subscribing, hitting that bell for notification, uh, joining the channel membership, sharing the video out for everybody to see. And um, I thank you guys for watching wherever you are. Please have a great, safe, happy, healthy day, morning, afternoon, evening, and night. Always support physical media. It is a superior format. And Godspeed. Ooh.